Well, hello everyone, I'm back. The new proud American conservative. Yes, the new American became an American last year. Very proud of that. And what time to become an American citizen, right? If you guys see behind me, I don't want to walk all the way down there because I want to show you something else and uh, I don't want the phone to shake the whole time. So um, yeah, I got eight calves. Um, I have uh, no experience at all being a farmer. Did a lot of research, especially my wife but nothing beats the true experience. So we're definitely uh, enjoying it. It's been very challenging, but a lot of fun at the same time. So there is a ton for us to learn, but like I said, we're looking forward to it. And I know this is in my eyes, in my opinion, a must. Have your own food, uh, definitely some canned food and all that stuff, but livestock and everything. I just want to have everything next to me, with me. I don't want to rely on uh, the government to help me for anything, okay? That's just, like I said, what I've been planning on for a while and now it's it's here. So I walk the walk. If I tell you guys about prepping, if I tell you about being self-sufficient, you can see what I'm doing. You can see the unwrapping that I do on silver. I did about 60 ounces of unwrapping on silver. You can find those videos on my blog. You can see platinum, couple of ounces, which I'll do another one soon. You can see gold. Uh, so like I said, I walk the walk. So if you're interested in any of this, I believe you should share these videos, you should like, you should make some comments and go from there. So yes, eight uh, calves back there. Uh, they are huge already, just in three days. It's, it's unbelievable. Uh, two of them were kind of sick, uh, had like a cold. I hope that was the case. So um, we called the person that we bought them from. He said, uh, that's kind of common. Uh, Got to get, uh, get that pump gun, put antibiotic in it and get on the horse and, and go around and uh, inject them basically shoot them but obviously not kill them so uh, that's what I did with no experience so I think a lot of you uh, can do the same uh, so we'll go from there uh, I'm gonna show you here I got fence delivered this is nothing this is just for one part there is a lot to go got about 40 acres to figure out here uh, some of it is already fenced so no big deal but this just goes on and on and on all the way to the left, all the way around, and uh, it goes like that. So here is the barn. We had the, uh, the roof was there, you know, just basically the structure, but nothing, what you see here, we completed all these stalls right now. That was a fun project. I think uh, we did a great job, and when I say we, I mean, me picking some guys. They did um, not very expensive labor, but they were happy. I took care of them. Good veterans. Yep, this one is a double. This is where Bonnie hangs out. And um, working on this shed here to fix it up a little bit. Got a garden here. This is uh, four by 12. This guy, once everything is planted, everything is good to go. One year per person for, veg for uh, vegetables, etc. So we got family of four here and we're gonna do four. And here is Bonnie. That's not a cage to torture anyone. This is just a chicken coop. But you can't leave these at night because it gets too cold or raccoons or coyotes will dig a hole underneath and just snatch them. So they're gonna go probably in the shed because I got a concrete floor. And here is Bonnie. Look at her. Look at this beast. What do you guys think? Yeah, she's very sweet, very calm. And that would be it when it comes to, I don't want to bother you guys because some of you may not be interested at all in any of this. So uh, the setup for the stock market, if you follow my blog, you know I've been telling you I took a lot of cash out of the market and just waiting for the sell-off. 
in the mining sector, I got what I wanted. It wasn't exactly what I wanted, but certain stocks, like let's say Corvus Gold that I've been uh, talking about, it's been selling off from $3 a share down to like $270, $260. Uh, so I was, I almost started pressing buy button. Then I waited a little longer. And then on Friday, so just a few days ago, it dropped just over 10%. So I went in uh, big on that one and I will add more if it drops under $2.40. So this is why I'm telling you these opportunities like this, they come around and, and if this particular stock drops even more, I will cost average, meaning adding to the position. Uh, this is also going to happen in the energy um, sector as well. I see economy going on basically standstill in, in a way. And the reason I talk about energy is because military industrial complex, the, the machine is not going to stop. All, all the big money is tied up in crude oil. So there is a very good chance um, when you see a big sell-off, which is coming in energy stocks, in the energy sector, I don't think it's going to last too long. Uh, you might have to wait like a year. You have to stomach a volatility and use it as, 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 as an opportunity in a way and just stack up on those because of a military industrial complex and possible issues in the Middle East, you know, bombs dropped and et cetera. You guys know the play. Uh, you will see the crude oil go to the all time highs, uh, possibly $200 per crude oil by the end of 2021 with extreme volatility in between. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. So I suggest all of you guys think for yourself and make the decision based on what you came up with, not what I'm telling you. If you don't think you need to prepare, you don't need to store food, you don't need to, uh, you know, have livestock ever, that's, that's fine. I'm just telling you what I'm doing and why. I also see a lot, of, uh, a lot more of social unrest coming, uh, very unfortunately, and I do not see it uh, go on for too long. But right after the election, uh, it is going to happen because neither party is going to accept the loss. So prepare. God bless you all. And uh, we will talk soon. And before I go, I just want to add this. Mnuchin, Steve Mnuchin, is going to speak today with Pelosi at 3 o'clock. So I'm expecting stock market, based on what they say, to have a huge swing. If you are a day trader, if you're somebody, you might want to tune in, tune in around three o'clock and be very careful what you're doing today. Take care.